everyone thank you so much for joining me in this video today i want to share with you guys this design using pastel colors so if you guys want to see how i created this design i invite you guys to stay so the first thing that i want to share with you guys is the glue that i use um, to apply my tips and this is the glue that i usually use when i do practice nails so the tips that i'm using are square tips i don't really usually use them because i don't really like the shape but i wanted to give them a try so the only thing i did is i just cut the sides and a little bit the length to do a coffin shape after that what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to do the entire nails with natural acrylic from odyssey nail system and for the ring finger i'm going to be doing a ombre technique i'm going to be blending three colors i'm going to use on the cuticle area a light yellow then i'm going to apply a lilac acrylic and on the tip i'm going to be applying a light pink acrylic so when i apply the color acrylic I try to do it in very thin coats uh, since I'm gonna be encapsulating this nail just to protect this ombre effect. After that, I'm gonna file. In this case, I'm not gonna buff the nails because I'm gonna be doing the Russian technique. So I'm just gonna clean the nails and they're gonna be ready to do this technique. The colors that I'm gonna be using are light yellow, mint, light pink, and lilac. So I'm gonna start with the pinky. I'm gonna be applying the pink color. And if you guys notice, I apply the acrylic very wet pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is just applying color with acrylic is like the same thing as using nail polish or gel so what I try to do is um, to apply one coat of acrylic at a time I want the acrylic to dry this is gonna help me out to see where does the nail need more color because if I try to apply it over wet acrylic um, the only thing that I'm gonna be doing is just brushing the acrylic and it's just wasting products so it's better just to wait for each coat to dry and also this is going to help me for the nail not to look that patchy the reason why i like to do this technique it's because you get a matte effect without using any gel or matte nail polish and also i love the texture Now after that I'm going to go to the ring finger and I'm going to be doing some 3D flowers.
So after I was done doing the 3D flowers, I'm gonna be applying rhinestones by the cuticle area. So after applying the rhinestones, I'm gonna apply cuticle oil. So this is the result of the design. I hope you guys like it. And if you guys do, please give it a thumbs up. You guys can leave your comments down below of what do you guys think about this video. And I want to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you until the next one.